Hi guys, today in this video we are going to balance this equation. So on reactant side we have Na and H2O and on product side we have NaOH and H2O. And to balance this equation we first need to know the total number of atoms on both the sides. So for reactant side we have one sodium atom so we are going to put one over here, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Okay, And as we move forward to the product side we have one sodium atom. For hydrogen, now here is a tricky part. Most people just count the number of atoms that are present in NaOH and do not consider this H2 gas over here. We have to count all the atoms. So there is 1 plus 2, 3 hydrogen atoms over here and we have 1 oxygen atom. So if you look at both the sides, you will see that this is a bit odd because it is quite difficult to balance the odd numbers and we will try to make this even. And uh, as hydrogen here has 3, the easiest way to balance this equation is to add 2 over here. So now we have to update the product side. Now we have 2 atoms of nitro, uh, two atoms of sodium and for hydrogen we have 2 plus 2, 4. For oxygen we have 2. So the product side is uh, now updated and now we will go to the reactant side. Um, we will add 2 over here to balance this equation. So for hydrogen we have 4. For oxygen we have 2 and you can see here the sodium atom is still uh, there is only one sodium atom on the reactant side so to balance it we are going to put the coefficient 2 over here as well and hence now this equation is balanced in which the final reaction that we are getting is 2Na plus 2H2O on reactant side 2NaOH plus H2 on the product side. Now this uh, reaction is quite explosive in nature as uh, when sodium reacts with water it is quite explosive and I hope this video helps you to understand on how to balance this equation. Just remember to count all number of atoms um, on both reactant and product side. Do not miss out on any uh, atom and make sure to balance it if there are odd numbers of atoms try to make it even and then balance the equation. So I hope this video helps you to understand uh, the balancing of this equation and for more such videos make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.